Only 5% of the cancerogenic factors in general for most common cancerous diseases are um, already inherited or based on, on inherited genetic factors. And the other 95% that cause cancer like breast cancer, colon cancer, lung cancer, prostate cancer, the four big major types of cancer that matter in modern societies, they co-work with each other, they interact with each other forming a cancerogenic attractor system. Um, the combination of these factors cause a change in our biology that allows cancerous cells to grow and prevent uh, the attack from our immune system. It's a very tricky and highly complex procedure that most of the time needs years in order to reach the level where the system tilts and where the disease gains momentum and, and comes into appearance after a while and forms a lump. And if you don't stop it, the lump forms metastases that go to other organs. And if nothing stops that, the growth of metastases, the body will be ruined by an overgrowth of immature cells that destroy the organs and don't allow the organism to survive. So in order to understand better how this combination of risk factors, of cancerogenic risk factors work and how they, how they have a synergy effect amongst each other that creates uh, cancer cells or that allows the building of cancer cells, um, I want to show you something that represents a field. If we start with this, this is a magnet and we don't see the magnetic field lines. It's not visible to our eye. So we want to make the, the field lines visible and we use uh, iron particles in that glass. So if I put that on the magnetic field, um, we see that the iron particles make the field visible. There is this magnetic field that gives a very special shape to the iron particles. So the tendency to form that shape is not in the iron particles, it comes from the surrounding. And if I remove the magnetic field, see what happens to the iron particles the shape collapses. So let me take this as an example for something that creates a form and something that makes the creation of the form visible like the, the iron particles. So in my example, uh, the magnetic field is comparable to the field of carcinogenic factors. And the iron particles are the cells that follow the field. Of course, we can move the particles away physically, but if we don't change the field, the new particles that come from above will always follow the field and create a new shape. And that is exactly what happens if you only cut out the tumor. If you don't change the field, you will experience a relapse because the field is not changed when you cut out the tumor. So changing the field means helping the body to detoxify better, to improve the immune system, to give you the nutrients you need, all these 80, 90 substances that we need every day, the vitamins, the minerals, the antioxidants, the micronutrients, the fatty acids, the proteins. So we have to look into every level of our health and repair what is wrong in order to establish the self-healing capacity again. And that's the chance we have if somebody suffers from chronic disease or metastasized cancer, that we need to do a, a restart of the whole terrain of the, we need to take care of, a, of a, the whole biological system and improve the health functions on every possible level.